No, for real. This shit right here. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sierra. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing a wash and go using the Do Be Girl Honey Curl Custard. Now, you guys know that my hair doesn't always like custard, but I've watched a ton of reviews on this product before I bought it. Um, namely, Carolina Curls. You guys should go watch her video. Um, I'm sure you all know Happy Curl, Happy Girl. Um, they love this product. They rave about this product. They've been saying that the B Girl Honey Curl Custard is acting like a gel on their hair, giving them a lot of crunch. And I just want to see what the girlies are talking about. So, so, of course, you guys already know, we start on freshly washed and deep conditioned hair always. Um... This is like a little twisty turby thing that I got from Walmart. These are kind of the best. They are microfiber towels. So one thing about um, when I do wash and go reviews or when I do product reviews, I typically don't use a weave-in on my hair, but um, that's not normally how I wear my hair. I normally always use a leave-in. So, um, for today's video, I decided that today's not going to be any different. I'm going to use a leave-in because I want to see if this product really is going to work for me. Now, you can watch other videos where, the, where they did not use a leave-in and kind of get a reference point there. But me, I'm a leave-in girl. If I don't use a leave-in, my hair is really, really dry by day three. And it makes me feel like I have straw on my hair for the rest of the week. So I don't like that feeling. So that's why I am going to be using a leave-in. Now, the other reason I'm going to use a leave-in is because a lot of people, a lot of people said that the B-Girl has so much crunch. And I love a good crunch, but I also need my hair to feel moisturized at the end of the day. So for today... I am going to be using the Kinky Curly Not Today Leave-In and Detangler. Hold on. You guys, don't, don't comment on my nails. My nails look super crazy right now, but whatever. I don't have no product. How, how am I supposed to do my hair? And I don't, I don't even have a clip. What I went ahead and did was I put some in a spray bottle and mixed it with water. Um, this is just so that I have like a light leave-in, but something that I know and trust to be moisturizing on my hair. So, jumping straight in, let's get this party started. I'm going to start with listing some of the ingredients. So, it does have the first ingredient is water, which is great. And then, and then it starts going on to a list of ingredients that I cannot pronounce. And I remember back in the day, the natural hair girlies were saying that if you can't pronounce the ingredients, stay away from the products. But now everyone is raving about these products again, so whatever. Um, the other thing I'm about to do is that it is black owned, which is awesome. Yay! So this is a black owned um, cosmetologist product, actually. Cosmetologist approved, so that's good. It does go on to say... What is do? It hydrates, protects, and defines even the tightest curls with no crunch or flaky residue. What's good? There's honey, aloe, vitamins B, C, and E, keratin, and silk amino acids. And for do you, it says the instructions here are to apply to clean wet hair in small sections, rake with fingers to clump curls, hood dry or diffuse until 100% dry, fluff as desired. So that is what I'm going to do. My hair is already damp, but I'm going to go ahead and take my leave-in and spray a little bit. And then I'm going to go in. I didn't even open this. So, I feel like I'm all over the place with this. You know what? I don't know. It smells like 
like Play-Doh, I think. Like if you've ever smelled Play-Doh, like I think this is similar to what, here. I think this is similar to what Play-Doh smells like. So I don't know, I'm trying to show you guys the consistency. Definitely very slimy, very custardy, so that's good. It's a very thick, now I just want you guys to see this here. You guys can see, like, this is a very, very thick product. So, I know I'm playing myself by doing this, but I'm just going to take a little bit, actually, let me not try to play myself. I'm going to take a little bit of product and start applying it to my hair. Oh, it is thick. Okay. Hmm. I like it. I mean, so far it is very thick. I'm scared of like running my fingers through it. Okay. So I didn't even use a lot and it is defining my curls. I'm just gonna go in and add a little bit more leave-in. Okay, so I'm looking at this first section and I really am kind of impressed. So my first impression of this is that I do think it's going to be very defining for sure. Oh, that looks really good. Okay, I'm going to move on to the next section. This does not feel at all like a custard. This product feels like a gel, and I think it's gonna be good. I mean, I think it's gonna look good. She might be that girl. I don't know about y'all, but I definitely think that this is something that's gonna work, but as we all know, we can't get too excited until it dries. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my hair and I will come back to you guys when we are almost done. All right, so not one frizz in sight. Yes, we're gonna finish up this side. No, for real, this shit right here. Okay, so we are done with the wash and go. 
let me give you guys some impressions of how I felt while I was applying the product. Essentially, my hair, it came out super, super defined. Um, there is not a lot of frizz that I can see. And you guys know, like, with wash and go, you can tell that there's going to be frizz based on how it starts looking when it's drying. And you guys can see that there is no frizz in my hair right now. So I'm definitely, definitely super excited to see how it dries. I'm excited to get some of that crunch that that everyone has been talking about. And seeing if this is a custard that's really going to work for type 4, type 4 natural hair. So um, I am going to go ahead and as the direction state, I'm going to diffuse my hair. And then I'm going to come back and show you guys the final results. Hi guys, so it is the next day or night, pretty much. It's like 6.30, I just got off work. Um, I, last night I did not stretch my hair, so this is how my hair looked when it dried. Very, very shrunken. Um, but let's definitely get into these details before I decide to stretch my hair. Um, so you guys see my hair, um, let me try to get closer. So this is what my hair looks like, as you guys can see. Um, I did get a little bit of flaking, not a lot, but just a little bit, a smidgen. So the claims about the product not having any flaking. Um, but that's okay because it's not a lot of flaking, it's just a little fairy dust here and there, not a lot. It's not something that's going to like prevent me from using this product ever again in the future, that's for sure. Um, which leads me to my next statement is that there is a little bit of crunch. Like, there is a little bit of crunch. I thought it was going to be some light flexible crunch but honestly my hair is not like again I use the leave-in um, so that softens the hold a little bit um, and I didn't use it a lot so I guess I feel like maybe I wouldn't describe it as crunched but I would describe it as a strong hold let me read what this says Helps hydrate, protect, and define even the tightest curls with no crunch or flaky ribs. Okay, um. Okay. Hi guys, we're back. Um, so today is day three. I know you guys did not get a chance to see my hair stretched out. The reason for that is I've been sick. And at the start of making this video, I felt fine, but then toward the end of making the video, I started to feel really sick. So um, yesterday, I did not stretch my hair. I didn't do anything. The day before that, when I initially did my hair on Sunday, I let it air dry instead of blow drying or diffusing because, again, I just didn't feel well. So. Today, I went ahead and I finally stretched out my hair so I can give you guys my final thoughts about the Bee Girl Honey Curl Custard. So, let me go ahead and take my hair out of this bun. So, this is my hair on day three. This is the first day that I stretched my hair. Now, I feel like personally I underestimated the hold factor um, I feel like that because like my hair has so much hold that it was actually super hard to stretch the way that I like to stretch my hair so I feel like no matter what I did my hair still just sprang back how it was before so I definitely underestimated the super strong hold that the honey bee or the, the honey curl custard has. Um, the other thing is that I got tons of flaking. Um, I'm sure the camera is picking this up but as you can see in like this area over here, some of this area. 
and over here in this area I'm just getting a lot of flaking um, so I have a lot of flaking um, a lot more than I was expecting especially because I did not use a lot of the product and I also went in went in with the leave-in underneath um, it looks like no matter whether or not you use a leave-in you're gonna get flaking with this product if there is a product in the future that I can come up with that does not involve flaking with this gel or with this custard then I'll definitely come back to show you guys but as of right now it doesn't look like there's anything that can help prevent you from getting flaking with this product now it does claim that this is a product that has no crunch and no flaking but unfortunately those two turned out to be untrue for my hair um, I had tons of hold I had crunch and I had a lot of flaking and I'll just give you guys a little look if you can see like my phone screen has like little flakes on it it's disgusting so I have little flakes everywhere of the product um, this is the first time like I said that I'm wearing my hair out but I'm probably gonna put this in a bun um, because I don't like how much flaking that it's giving me so for right now this product I will say that I do like it but I have to keep going in and trying out things that work with this product so I can get the results that I'm looking for so yeah so with regards to this custard I will be coming back for another review or possibly wash and go combo when I can find something that works with this product that doesn't have um, any flaking but overall like out of 10 I would give this product like a six and a half seven um, there are a lot of positives with the product but negatives right now for me are kind of outweighing the positives because of the flaking because of the the claims against the crunch and things like that even though I like crunch but I just think it's not accurate and then also the um, moisture factor the product does not keep my hair moisturized at all I mean because of how defined it is like right now my hair feels like straw and I mean not like straw maybe that's a bit much right now my hair does not feel good it does not feel how I would like it to feel um, there is just a lot of flaking and I think it's just the product on my hair honestly um, the smell the play-doh smell with the product it went away it's like super light so you really have to stick your nose in it for you to be able to even notice anything really so um, is the b-girl that girl she might be she can be um but today she wasn't so until next time you guys please make sure that you like comment and subscribe leave your suggestions down below head over to my social media follow me on instagram and tiktok at sierra deanna and i will see you guys in my next video peace